I'll come back to that in a second. But first, of all, I just wanted to ask about the um, the recent media that we've seen around the stability of the West Antarctic uh, ice sheet, um, and what your research is saying about the long term stability of all the Antarctic ice sheet, including the East Antarctic ice sheet. Thanks, Senator. Yes, the, so there's just been some uh, media around a paper that's come out recently that has been looking at the um, using a couple of different streams of information around the stability of the West Antarctic ice sheet, and there are there are two key elements to it that um, the papers deal with. One is that um, if you if you imagine the ice sheet flowing off Antarctica in huge rivers of ice, these things are grounded on rock underneath, and quite a few of the very large glaciers have. Um, bits of major rock systems at the front of them, putting it simply, that tend to hold them back and block them. Once they retreat past that, there'll be a freer flow. So a couple of the major glaciers um, in, uh, in the West Antarctic region are now um, believed to be just tripping over that last um, blockage part. So it's anticipated that the flow of ice from that area may actually increase. Um, that's to be seen, but that's what, the, that's what the, the work is indicating. The other major piece of work is using um, very sophisticated satellite imagery that looks at changes in the overall size of the ice sheet, and it, it tries to measure the, the balance between what's coming in on the ice, mm. the snowfall, and what's breaking away in terms of the ice at the end of those big rivers of ice. Um, Dr Gales, would it, would it be a fair assessment to say this is, this is more rapid than you originally were anticipating? Yeah, both papers would, would push towards saying that the, um, the, the rate of loss from the West Antarctic ice sheet is at the higher ends of the projected um, future scenarios. Um, the East Antarctic ice sheet, the larger part, is broadly stable, but there's a lot of uncertainty around the East Antarctic ice sheet, and there's um, particular areas, um, major glacial systems around East Antarctica, where we've got uh, data that's somewhat similar to the West Antarctic ice sheet, where we can see quite high levels of loss. Um, but overall, it's a very dynamic and complex system with mm. some increased snowfall, so some increased input into that system. But the West Antarctic ice sheet is, there's the loss in the plus and minus balance, it's losing about 7 or 8% more than it's gaining at the moment. Um, well, the, at, the, at what stage will that, will that lead into, um, maybe, maybe not your assessments, but other international assessments in terms of sea level rise, um, changes to salinity in the ocean, these types of things? Well, all of this will, will give rise to, I'm sure, other models and papers that will, hmm. will happen in the ensuing years. And then in the, the next um, IPCC overall review, those will be consolidated and reviewed into an overall view of what's happening. Um, so the work is quite critical. It's, uh, this work has now been published since the uh, quite recent IPCC report. Hmm. Um, and, uh, and as with science moving on in these areas and trying to um, refine the estimates of future change, um, these will feed into that next IPCC estimate as well as the work of our and many other national polar programs. Okay. And I noticed Minister Hunt was in town last week in Hobart, and did you give him a briefing on, on these developments? Uh, the paper actually had just come out since Mr Hunt's right, okay. it's really hot off the press. <laughs> I'm, sure that, I'm sure there's um, plenty of time. There's, but well, yeah, we maybe. certainly ensure that uh, Minister Hunt is as briefed as possible across all of these type of issues. In fact, I think a brief just went up to him yesterday. And are we seeing any other signs of climate change in Antarctica but on your, based on your research? Oh, on the, on the, the, the work of the overall program is continuing to look at a whole range of issues to do mm. with changes in the overall ice sheet to changes in uh, ocean circulation, um, and uh, temperature, um, salinity, and acidity of, of the oceans, and we are mm. seeing changes there. Well, we we yeah, yeah, hope to have another marine science voyage this numbers. coming it's summer, um, and it will be uh, a key part of a very long series of measurements we've been making through the Southern Ocean in those areas. So we're continuing to measure and to try and improve the data that uh, supports models for future projections of change. So we're, we are seeing change across a range of areas, Senator. Fantastic, and I'm, and I'm sure your, your work's, you know, is, there's a lot of people internationally very grateful for the work that's been done by AAD in this area.